mode. Excellent, there I am. Someone else logging in. Just to let you all know we are recording this today. So um, it can be shared for those that don't make it or within your organization. All right, um, if you have any questions, you can use the chat feature to chat with me or um, raise your hand. Um, and today we're going to break this webinar into two parts. We're going to do a little overview of the product. We're going to take a then a tour of the website to show you how you can start a free trial of the product, and then we'll see the product in action. We'll get started in just a minute. Increase Ooh, my size. You like that? I love this new feature. All right, make sure I'm not in the way there. And we'll go ahead and get started. So, thank you for joining us. I'm Rob Manfredi, the owner of uh, Bamboo Solutions. Uh, we're a uh, a team located here in Northern Virginia and across the country that provides both products and services in support of Microsoft 365. Um, we have customers all over the world. Uh, we support currently about 2,000 active customers on maintenance using our products, both on-prem and in Office 365. We're a Microsoft Gold partner, but in addition to creating products, we also deliver SharePoint and Microsoft 365 services, which include migrations, portal builds, Dataverse solutions, Power Apps, Azure, and the like. Um, we've been around for 10 plus years. We've been developing products uh, since on-prem 2007. Uh, we have 40 plus consultants in our company uh, supporting various organizations around the world. We've got a very high customer satisfaction rating, and we always like to say that it's our experience is what makes us different. So in addition to all of that consulting, we have some 40 products that are used on-prem, and we've converted 22 of those or so uh, to work within SharePoint Online. They have the same functionality as the on-prem, but they are a complete rewrite of the product to support the Microsoft 365 architecture. And uh, we're pretty proud of that as our customers migrate from on-prem to the cloud, their users can have the same experience with our products um, and the like. So we always like to say we create very high value, low cost solutions for SharePoint um, that also extend into Teams. So TreeView is one of our best selling products on-prem and we're happy to now move it into the cloud. Um, what it does is it provides uh, users a way to quickly navigate through files and folders with a familiar tree structure or Internet Explorer type structure. So one of the gripes we always hear from our customers is that when you're navigating through document libraries, it's more of a breadcrumb experience, which we'll see. And people like the Explorer view. So um, this allows you to point tree view at a document library and then browse through its folders and, and subfolders. It can also browse through a site structure. And now, instead of looking at just folders and subfolders, we can actually use the term store to browse through documents. So if all your documents are in a single file folder and a flat structure, which is what Microsoft is recommending these days, but you've added metadata to those documents, we can use that metadata in a tree view structure. It is SharePoint powered, so it you can dynamically filter that content using your existing list or library views, which we'll see. It does support drag and drop of folders um, and moving files uh, within the actual tree view structure, so a little easier way to move stuff around. Um, it is security trimmed so that if you don't have access to certain files folders, um, we will not display them even though they are in the tree view structure. Um, and unlike other vendors, we do perpetual licensing at the tenant level. So there are no per users per month. It's not a subscription. So once you purchase a uh, tree view, you can add the tree view feature to any site collection and to all of your users out there 
forever. There is uh, first year support included, which includes telephone support, product upgrades, and new versions. Second year support is 22% um, of the purchase price, and it is optional. If you don't choose to use it, the product will continue to work. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the website and how you can get to the product. And then we'll show a demo. So our website, which is bamboosolutions.com, um, highlights all of our products for on-prem as well as SharePoint Online, but also our services offerings. And underneath our services offerings, you can see that we've got um, a lot of talent within the Microsoft 365 space for uh, migrations, teams, Power Automate, Power Apps, virtual agents, uh, building out intranets, Power BI, digital transformation. So um, with our staff of consultants, if you need an extra pair of hands or somebody to come to for experts, please reach out to us. We'd love to work with you. On the product side, um, we've got this nice little filterable area that shows the blue products, which are ready for SharePoint online. So you can see Alerts Plus, Calendar Plus, Carousel, Chart Plus, all of the favorites. And then if you go a little bit lower, we've got some uh, suites of the product so that if you're looking at a couple, take a look at this Productivity Cloud Part Suite. It's heavily discounted and has all of our best sellers in there. If you were to click on that, you would see that this includes Calendar Plus, Carousel, Chart Plus, List Rollup, Navigators, Tabify, News, and Planner Plus. So those are some great products. And then down below in green are legacy on-prem products, which currently support SharePoint 2013, 16, 19, and we're working our way through supporting 2022. So there's a lot of products in here that do. Um, if you wish a 2022 version of these, please let us know. We can move that to the top um, in getting it ready for SharePoint on-prem subscription edition. Um, if we look here, uh, we can find our tree view product. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Let's go ahead and admit this new person. So tree view is located right here. The product page highlights a lot of uh, information about the features of the product. So we can see some screenshots of it here. Um, it shows you some setup, which we'll see in our demo here. Um, some CSS stuff, the key benefits of using it. And then, of course, the price. Uh, the price is $39.95, $3,995 per, um, per tenant. I don't know why that says web application, but it is per tenant. Um, the tree view here um, is available for trial by clicking this orange button here in the lower left corner. You can grab a trial license right here, add it to your cart, no credit card needed. It gives you 30 days to use it in your tenant. If you like it, we can just simply license it. You can purchase it right here. Um, and then we'll just simply send you a permanent license that you can apply to the product. Very straightforward and easy to use. So let's take a look at how TreeView works. So I've got here a document library uh, within SharePoint Online. And it's got two subfolders and a bunch of various items in here. And if I were to go to a, a folder, right, that breadcrumb structure, right, moves me down into that folder, I can look. And then if I wanted to go to that first folder, I actually have to go back to the top and go to the another folder and then I find my document. So uh, not too difficult, but not something that users are used to, um, nor do they like. So essentially what we do is we add the tree view product to your app catalog, right? Um, and then enable it on a page by adding the web part. So if we go here and edit it, we can see that it is just a web part that was added to a page. And then if you've got admin, uh, we can end this tour. Um, you've got access to the settings wheel, which is where you will set up where you want to point the tree view at. So in here, we can choose a SharePoint list or a SharePoint site. This BCS is a holdover from our on-prem, so don't worry about that, it is grayed out. If we grab a list, we can simply copy and paste our site URL, hit load. It will then load all of the lists within that site. You can select uh, the views that you have for that site that you want to include 
in your tree view. Um, it will then give you your nodes. So you can actually choose where you want the tree view to start, right? If you wanted to start here at, at the subfolders, you could do that, and then you would not have this documents at the top. And then you can also, which is kind of neat, choose to hide a folder. So if there's certain folders that you don't want included in your tree view, um, you can just simply go through and select the ones that you want to hide from the users. You can expand a certain number of levels if you'd like when you come to the page for your users so that it's not just a single node as you see here, but it would actually show the sub nodes. And then your group here is where we'll actually show you with the term store and the metadata, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, you can do some neat things with dynamic height and displaying the toolbar or not. You can choose uh, the panel widths um, and also the look and feel that you'd like to add. And we go ahead and we'll save that and then republish it. And now when our users come to the page, um, let's end this tour since this is a new install. Um, you can see that it's automatically expanded out those two levels. And just like an explorer, I can go through now and browse through my documents in more of an explorer view way. Now you can have as many of these as you want um, on your folder side. And then of course with your documents, it supports all of the same actions that you would have um, to download one or many documents all at once. And it would download just a zip file. You can of course add documents or folders um, here just like you would with a normal document library. And then of course if I go to my documents and I want to choose a different view, my views are available here. Um, so that if I just wanted to see my Agile view, it actually will then trim the view down just to the documents that are part of that view. Real simple, real easy, but uh, something that customers really, really like. The new feature that we wanted to talk about today was what do we do about metadata? So in this case, I've got a document library that's flat and I've got several documents that are associated with different metadata in the term store. Right, so in this case, um, if we go ahead and edit this, we see our group by term store, right? And then we can actually select the metadata column that we are going to use um, for that term store. And then what happens is it grabs the term store and uses that as the tree view, and then brings in the documents that are associated with uh, that term in the term store. And essentially, right, if we go ahead and edit this document, you can see there's my metadata column. And then if I click on these little guys, my term store, you can see that the term store that's created within SharePoint, which is being used a lot more in SharePoint Online than it did on-prem, um, is under this project management uh, term store library. And then here's our deliverables, lessons learned, meeting management, et cetera, et cetera. And you can see how this mimics what your term store is here and dynamically grabs the information over there. So that if I were to, let's say, take one of these nuns, these are not uh, edited, and let's go ahead and let's move uh, books and give it a term out of the term store. We'll go ahead and grab that. We're going to assign some bit to lessons learned. And now underneath lessons learned, we've got that second book that we just edited there. So this allows you to use your standardized terms that you've created in term store to actually create navigation through your document libraries and the like. So we're pretty excited about that. We've got several customers that have requested this feature and function because they're using term stores to drive their navigation and they wanted that in a tree view that users could use. Well, that's all we had to show today. Any questions? Again, at bamboosolutions.com under tree view, I'll go ahead and paste this into our chat so that you have quick access to it. You can sign up for a free trial. During your free trial, you have full access to our support team. So if you need help installing it or a walkthrough or setting it up, we'd be happy to do that for you at no charge.
get you running and then we know you'll love it once you start using it. So thank you for your time today. We'll send around the uh, recordings. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us either through the contact us button or uh, respond to the meeting invite you got for today. Excellent. Thank you all so much and have a great day.